to be awarded the Raymond A. Brown Award is an extraordinary privilege and an affirmation that there are more than one way, there's more than one way to serve. Um, as all of us know, Raymond Brown was an iconic civil rights and criminal defense attorney. I have spent the majority of my career as a prosecutor. So to know that the Garden State Bar, which is a civil rights organization in and of itself, thought enough of the work that I've done so far to bestow on me this incredible privilege is something that is surreal. And I thank the Garden State Bar for that honor. My first inspiration to do so much more than was expected of me as a young Latina woman from Newark came from my parents who instilled in me a tremendous work ethic who showed me by their example what it meant to sacrifice for myself and my sisters. They really were the beginning of the reasons that I wanted to even go into law and to do what I've always seen them do, which is advocate for other people and really be a source of support and friendship for our neighbors and for our community. Now that I have become a mom and a special needs mom at that, Everything that I do, I do for Isabella and for Elsa and for other autistic and special needs children throughout. Everything that I am doing, have done, and will continue to do will be in service to others. Um, from my choice of profession to the way in which I spend my free time to the organizations that I'm involved in. Um, as a proud member of Alpha Kappa Alpha, I live and breathe our motto every single day, and that is to be of service to all mankind. I wasn't really expected to do any of the things that I've done. Um, growing up in Newark as a graduate of Barringer High School, most of the expectations were me were that I would do what everybody else that looked like me did, which was to maybe finish high school, then start a family and then start to work. So my life has been and my career has been a series of, well, let me see what else I can do. And so after college and after law school, I decided that I wanted to pay back all of the sacrifices and the confidence and the support that I was given along the way. So with every opportunity I've had from being a Newark Municipal Prosecutor to being a Deputy Attorney General to serving as an Assistant Counsel to Governors Whitman and DeFrancesco to serving as an Assistant United States Attorney and now as the Passaic County Prosecutor, the first Latina in the history of this state to see someone who looks like me do this job all of those are high points. We cannot arrest away our problems. And so as all of you that are sitting out in that audience know, it's going to take the best in all of us to make sure that we are ensuring safety, that we are ensuring progress, and that things like equality and access are not just words, but are really models and core values that we live by and we instill in all those that we work with and work for. Now as an employer, um, one of the things that I am very committed to is making sure that I hire, I mentor, I assist, I befriend people who are as committed to public safety and to community development as I have been. When you strip away the fact that we may be uh, people of color or women or come from urban environments or come from environments where there really much not is not expected of us what remains is the work so I look for people who want to um, better themselves and that understand that by bettering themselves they're bettering the communities and all those that they touch and affect Raymond A. Brown or as I used to refer to him as Brother Brown um, was in a word, just a legend. Um, I had the opportunity to meet him when I was at the U.S. Attorney's Office, and I will never forget when I first met him. He was in the waiting room waiting to see one of the AUSAs that he had a case against, and I knew who he was immediately, and I made it my business to go up to him and to introduce myself to him and to let him know that I was an AUSA. He smiled at me, and I sat down with him and we talked about how although we would be on opposite sides if we ever had a case against one another, the things that fueled us were the same. The desire to see equality, the desire to fight for justice, the desire to make sure that the process was fair. 
to the Garden State Bar Association and all of the mentors and all of the mentees that are present and sharing in such an amazing um, honor in my life, I want to say thank you. Thank you for providing me with the example of what it is to really do this work, to really be an attorney, to really affect change, to not forget what those core values are, and really to be reminded every single day as to why I wanted to become an attorney in the first place, and that was to serve.